Good evening, my fellow cosmic travelers. Tonight, we embark on a journey not through the vast reaches of space, but through the boundless landscapes of the human mind. Have you ever felt as though you were not merely a passenger within your body, but a pilot capable of detaching and soaring beyond the physical confines of your flesh and bones? It is a question that tickles the imagination and challenges our understanding of consciousness. Imagine for a moment the universe within us, as expansive and mysterious as the night sky. Just as we use telescopes to observe distant galaxies, we use philosophy to explore the inner workings of our own existence. We find ourselves at the precipice of a fascinating philosophical landscape, where the mind's potential to transcend the body invites us into the realm of astral projection. This concept, often nestled within the esoteric and spiritual, sparks intense curiosity and skepticism alike. What if you could glide out of your corporeal constraints and witness the world from an entirely new perspective? This is not a new question. It has echoed through the ages, intriguing philosophers, mystics, and the dreamers among us. Astral projection suggests that our consciousness can embark on a voyage, leaving the body static while the mind roams free. It's a beguiling notion, one that offers a central question. Can our awareness exist independently of our physical form? And what might this imply about the nature of consciousness itself? As we delve deeper, we discover that astral projection isn't merely a topic for late-night conversations. It's a conundrum that has puzzled thinkers since antiquity. Plutarch, the ancient philosopher, wrote of out-of-body experiences in his treatise De Genio Socrates, contemplating whether the soul is indeed tethered to the body or if it's capable of wandering. The modern era has brought this fascination into the realm of psychology and neurology, with researchers attempting to decode whether these experiences are artifacts of the brain or glimpses into a transcendental reality. Throughout history, voices have emerged to share their personal encounters with astral projection. Madame Blavatsky, a controversial figure and co-founder of the Theosophical Society, championed the idea as evidence of the soul's immortality. Conversely, contemporary skeptics attribute such experiences to lucid dreaming or neurological phenomena. The contrast in perspectives is striking, painting a complex picture of human belief and skepticism. Let's consider the historical implications of astral projection. During the Renaissance, it was not uncommon for alchemists and occultists to claim experiences of soul travel, which they believed allowed them to access hidden knowledge. Fast forward to the 20th century, and you'll find the CIA exploring similar concepts under the Stargate Project, attempting to harness psychic phenomena for espionage during the Cold War. Such endeavors show that the allure of transcending the body has not only philosophical implications, but has historically influenced cultural and political spheres as well. As with any profound philosophical theme, the ethical implications of astral projection are multifaceted. If the mind can indeed operate independently of the body, it raises profound questions about privacy, agency, and the definition of life itself. Consider the case of Emanuel Swedenborg, an 18th century scientist turned mystic, who claimed his soul traveled to heaven and hell while his body remained on earth. His vivid descriptions of the afterlife challenged the theological and moral beliefs of his time, prompting us to ponder the ethical responsibilities of such journeys. Cultural reflections of astral projection span centuries and continents, permeating literature and art. Dante's Divine Comedy, for instance, can be seen as an allegorical astral voyage through the afterlife. In music, the concept has inspired compositions that attempt to evoke the sensation of the soul unbound. Movies like Doctor Strange bring the idea into the mainstream, showcasing the fantastical elements of astral travel to a modern audience. But what of contemporary discussions? Today's debates revolve around the scientific pursuit to understand near-death experiences and their relation to astral projection. 
Neuroscientists grapple with understanding how the brain constructs the sensation of being out of body, while some quantum physicists speculate on the non-locality of consciousness. These discussions reveal a spectrum of beliefs, from steadfast materialism to open-minded speculation about the nature of reality. The significance of this theme in our modern, scientifically-driven society remains potent. In an age where virtual reality and technological advances continue to reshape our perception of presence and space, the idea of astral projection serves as a reminder of the timeless quest to understand the self beyond the physical realm. It challenges us to consider the potentialities of human consciousness in an era that blurs the lines between the material and the virtual. Bringing together the myriad threads of philosophy, science, and culture, we arrive at a statement about astral projection that is as provocative as it is profound. To question the boundaries of our consciousness is to question the boundaries of our humanity. In pondering the possibility of astral projection, we not only delve into the mysteries of the self, but we also navigate the intricate tapestry of reality, a tapestry woven of matter, mind, and the spaces in between. To you, the thinkers and dreamers who have joined me tonight, I extend my deepest gratitude. Your willingness to engage with such enigmatic concepts enriches our collective journey through the cosmos of the mind. As we part ways, I invite you to ponder the possibilities of your own consciousness. Can it truly transcend the physical? What worlds might you explore if freed from the constraints of the body? And so, with a heart full of wonder and a mind brimming with questions, I bid you a warm farewell. May your philosophical inquiries lead you to new horizons, both within and beyond the starry skies. Remember, the universe is not only vast beyond measure, but also wonderfully intricate within. Stay curious, my friends, and never cease to explore the infinite landscapes of thought and existence. Good night, and may your journey through the cosmos of the mind be ever enlightening.